the only thing this is done, Skip, this is this is secure Dax kids, his grandkids, for the rest of their lives. You know how this works, Skip. There's a reason why the CEOs of corporation makes money. The expectations level are there. You don't get paid this kind of money. You fought tooth and nail for over two years, says, I deserve this. This is what I deserve. You get this, and now there's, Skip, the expectations are through the roof. Imagine the expectations he had on him making 600000 People like the Cowboys, the most talented football team, they have a quarterback, they should be in the, they should go this, 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 and this. You pay a guy $40 million a year, which is the second highest paid contract in NFL history, and you talk about there no, there's no pressure? The expectations are astronomical. Dak understands that. When you get this kind of money, guess what comes along with it? The same thing that comes along with Tom Brady, with Aaron Rodgers, with Patrick Mahomes. You ain't going to make dollars? Okay, go deliver. You, you, that, that, you need to bring a Super Bowl. You need, you need to give us one of the uh, Roger Starback, Troy Aikmans. Yep. That's what you need to do. Skip, the pressure does not cease. I understand it takes your mind like, man, whoo, I ain't got, ain't got to worry about no contract. I'm straight for the next four years. I'm good. But the expectations of what is expected of you now in that situation, so now what's the excuse? Well, you know, Dak had that contract on his mind, and whoo, so, you know, he's worried about getting hurt. There's none of that. Jared has removed that, gave you a check for $75 million. You're going to make $106 million in the first 16 months. Mm -hmm. No, Skip. Expectations does not subside. Per pressure does not subside when you make money. It goes up because more is expected of you. Yep. So, Dan Mullen, I vehemently disagree with your statement if you think the pressure is no longer on Dak. It's more pressure than he's ever faced in his life. Because what is the excuse now? You had an excuse last year with Jerry. You know, Jerry should have gave him his money. He's done what he's supposed to do. He's won rookie of the year, and he's won two divisions. Jerry, pay him, pay him, pay him, pay him, pay him. Jerry said, okay, God dang it. I'm tired of y'all. Y'all telling me the only reason I ain't got no Super Bowl is because I ain't paid my quarterback. Yep. I'm going to pay him. Jerry also know we about to sign this, about to sign this deal, too. So I go ahead, I'll break him off a little something. But, Skip, I disagree with Dan Mullen. The pressure is through the roof. I cannot tell you how much <laughs> I hope Dan Mullen is right. <laughs> you know about pressure. Yeah. We have pressure on this show. Yes. At this network. Pressure is what you perceive it to be and how you react to what you perceive. Right. Correct? Yes. So I'm hoping that Dak, in his mind's eye, is, is feeling less pressure. Right. To your point, you, you, you're right. It's out there. Yeah. It's how you perceive it and how you deal with it mm -hmm. and ultimately react to it. Is there skepticism still among Cowboy fans and Cowboy Nation about Dak mm -hmm. Prescott's ability to live up to $75 million that he's going to make next year <laughs> and $164 million over four years? Yes, there's skepticism. Yes. But I'm hoping that it's going to be a different kind of pressure that he will respond to instead of crumble under. Okay. I still believe he was crumbling under the pressure to bet on himself. I go back two seasons ago to that stretch where, remember, he opens up. I hate to beat the dead horse here, speaking of the Cowboys, but remember, he opened up with three huge games against three bad teams that you dismissed as garbage yeah. teams. The Giants, this is going back to 2019. Giants at Washington, Miami at home. And all of a sudden, the negotiations went from great, it's imminent that we're going to sign him, said Jerry Jones, right. to, huh? You, you want more money? I thought we'd agreed on it. Right. And the blood went bad. Mm -hmm. And here we went, and now the world is saying, yeah, but Dak's betting on himself. Okay? Then what happened over the last 13 games? He ranked 15th best quarterback in the league, which is just middle of the pack, but it right. wasn't the guy that right. we saw in the first three games. Middle of the pack guys don't get 40 mil. They don't. Shouldn't even ask for 40 mil. No, they don't. And do I have to keep bringing up all those road games at New Orleans, mm -hmm. at New York Jets, your favorite all-time Cowboy debacle game? They lost 24 to 22. <laughs> and then at New England, at Chicago, at Philadelphia for all the marbles. Dak just wasn't very good. He wasn't Dak. He wasn't the guy that I knew and loved. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you're, you're trying to live up. You're trying to bet on yourself. And it didn't really matter because what happened faithfully last year and what was it, the fifth game, the Giants game at right. home, Dak got hurt. And it was a horrible injury. It was career-threatening. 
But the silver lining to it was, as far as this negotiation went, it took Dak off the hook. And I'm not saying I would ever, I'm knocking on wood for Dak. I right. would never wish injury upon anybody. But there was a little metallic silver lining it was that all of a sudden Dallas was forced to go with Andy Dalton. Right. And then he got concussed. And then, you know, the, here we go, Garrett Gilbert. And then there's B.A.D. What's his middle name? Anthony? Ben Anthony Ben, ben Anthony Ducci. And it, it, was, it was a nightmare. Right. And so it made everybody sit back and say, ah, where's Dak? Right. Jerry, he's so much more valuable than we even thought that he was. Well, it's because they pretty much cratered. They had a little burst at the end thanks to Andy Dalton, and they, they almost climbed back into it. Right. But you know the rest of the story. And it actually put Dak in an advantageous position. What if he had been the quarterback and had struggled through the year? Right. Well, he would have lost some maybe yeah. negotiating leverage, right? Skip, maybe the pressure is the pressure is what you feel when you don't know what the hell you're doing. But I think Dak has never felt this level of expectations mm -hmm. before in his life. Because let's skip, let's just say for the sake of argument, he has a three-game stretch in which they lose and he's not playing particularly well. The first thing out of everybody's mouth, did the Cowboys make the right decision in giving Dak this money? You don't think he's going to hear that? Well, you don't think Zeke has heard that I, for, I, thank for you. about two long thank years? Thank you. Yep. So all of a sudden, like, hold on. He making $40 million, and that's what he giving you? Jerry could have went out there and he, maybe he should have made a deal for, for uh, uh, Russell Wilson. Maybe he should have tried to get Deshaun Watson. Tom Brady. Yeah, you're going to start hearing yeah. all of that. Yeah. Things that Dak has never heard before. Yep. They ain't never, you ain't never heard of somebody who should be, replace Dak. In Dallas, but now that you got 40 million and you don't play up to that 40 million, what the fans and what people in that organization think you should, yeah. they oh, absolutely. So maybe pressure is the wrong word, but the expectations you got a 40 million dollar quarterback, you got a 15 million dollar running back, you got two offensive linemen that's the highest paid in their position, you got a D lineman that's the highest, one of the highest paid in his position. What's the expectation level? It ain't no nine and seven, no 10 and six. You got to make a deep playoff run. NFC Championship game, possibly Super Bowl, to make it right. Mm. That's the way it works. So you know how I feel about Dak Prescott. He's had long stretches starting with his rookie year of spectacular yes. play in this league. We know what he is capable of doing. He's done it. I'm just hoping that he heaves a big sigh and starts living up to $164 million mm -hmm. because he is capable of living up. Yes, but to your point, it, it can go the other way. The expectations are extraordinary now. They are, but Skip, you think about that his rookie year, these old expectations weren't like what they are now. No. He's a rookie making 600000 filling in. He was supposed to be just holding the – he's just supposed to be holding it until Tony Romo get healthy. Then he goes back to the bench. Now, mm -mm, you ain't holding it for nobody. You're supposed to put Lombardi number six next to the five that's already up there in Jerry's office. Yep. I don't doubt nobody will work harder than this young man. I will. agree. I think he has high football character. I think he has big football in-game backbone that I love, just the competitive nature of him. So I love his intangibles. But the, the, when you go from fourth round to $164 million, <laughs> yeah. boy, there were times in 2019 after some of those games when if you told me he was going to make 164 million, I would have laughed in your face. Yeah, I don't think Skip. I don't know if anybody that would, go, you know, been that. I mean, normally guys that get that kind of money, Skip, they're first rounders. Yeah, they're second rounders. You look at the quarterback money. You look at Mahomes getting that money. You look at Deshaun. Skip, those are first round draft picks. Fourth rounders, mm. uh, they become the second highest paid. Mm. That doesn't happen. That's a fairy tale. If some, if if you'd have told Dak, say, you know what, Dak, and by six years, Dak, you would be making 40 million a year. I mean, I said, get out of bed. I'm making 600000 Man, you'll get your butt out of my face. And that's, where, and that's where he is. But guess what comes along with that? Expectation. Okay. And finally, I thought my man Gerald Wayne Jones Jr. would take some more pressure off Dak Prescott by just exploding <laughs> into free agency because he said at the Dak press conference, go. I got a big piece of pie left. I got a big piece of salary cap pie. And I'm saying, I can't tell. Because <laughs> what, what, we added two more stellar names that I'd never heard of yesterday. I had heard of Brent Urban, but you know Brent Urban. Oh, he's a – No. No, he's not a Pro Bowl. How about Carlos Watkins? I got to look his name up here. How what did he do? I don't know. He's a defensive lineman, okay? Oh, and, and how about Ty Naseki? He's the new backup offensive tackle. 
That's all we got. We resigned. But you somebody. say you got 20 million to cap. I, I don't know what's speak. happened. I don't know. So, so now the expectations continue to rise because you're not fixing the defense. Right. Skill. So it's going to be all Dak all the time. Man, go on and break Sue off twelve million and get Sue. Sue better. Sue be uh, one of your best. He'd be your best defensive lineman I next would. to D Law. If D if D Law come to play, D Law would obviously be the best. But Sue better than any D lineman y'all got. You got that right. Do it, Jerry. Let's go. Here we go. Jerry, bitch. Jerry, skill. Jerry be cheaper for agent. But I, but let me ask you this. Jerry has really in the last say decade. Jerry has never made hasn't made a big splash. Skip. I'm talking about with a big name. He signed some games, guys, mm -hmm. but guys were past their prime. When if Jerry made his... Nope. And when he has tried to make any splash at all, Greg Hardy maybe? Yeah. It's just it's a disaster. It was a right? disaster. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's uh -oh. not since Neon Deion Sanders yeah. prime time. I mean, he used to yeah. skip, you know, he used to make splashes. Mm -hmm. T.O. He gave T.O. You know, prime splash. dollar. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Best Leroy Glover. Skip Leroy Glover was a, was one of the better defense, top five defensive tackle at the time. Big Leonard Davis. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, Jay's like, you know what? Mm, no, I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> we draft. <laughs> you Sometimes do. I wonder but you gotta feel that Jerry's roster out. listening to us and hears this. Like, come on, Jerry, get to work. Yeah. Come on. Because he took me off the Christmas list. He here. He here. No. I ain't on the Christmas list. No. He's listening. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.